I'm Wayne Hugh, a venture capitalist at a Silicon Valley based fund that's invested in companies like Grammarly, Uber, and Color. Today, I'm going to be picking the 10 most mind blowing examples of the AI renaissance we're seeing play out right now. Artificial intelligence has become essential for our everyday lives in the background, whether we know it or not. Large scale machine learning models today power Google search. They select the ads served to you by advertising networks. They power the routing of maps and Uber drivers on your phone, even the YouTube recommendation engine that likely led you to this video. But in the last decade, there's been this huge step function change in things like voice recognition, image recognition, and artificial neural networks like CNNs, RNNs, GANs, and various forms of deep learning. The AI world has been more recently turned upside down by the emergence of transformer models for natural language processing, implemented by companies like OpenAI to create GPT. Other transformer models have powered new generative image and voice technology like Dolly, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. At the risk of oversimplifying, generative AI is fundamentally different from prior artificial intelligence in that it's not just taking in a set of inputs and rendering a prediction, but creating new content. And these new generative AI technologies have exploded in popularity faster than any other developer technology we've seen in history. When Stable Diffusion 2 was released, developer adoption was insane, outpacing what revolutionary technologies like Ethereum took years to do in just a matter of days. ChatGPT reached 2 million users seemingly within moments after launch. But this is just the beginning of the coming generative AI revolution. The technology is improving leaps and bounds every year. As with the arrival of GPT-4 and indeed every successive model release, the technology improves yet another 5x. The coming year will be a tipping point as the technology seeps into the mainstream and starts to upend trillion dollar industries. One of those industries will be creators on YouTube, TikTok, and other social media platforms. It's now possible to create a YouTube video from a script written by OpenAI, spoken by you as an avatar, with a machine-generated background in just minutes. This is not a real recording of me. It's generated through machine learning, which I think is pretty cool. In a world where you can make a video in so little time, it's hard not to wonder if this will lower the barriers to content creation and unleash a near infinite stream of video. What will that mean for us as consumers and the future of media when all the lines between text, video, and audio have been blurred? It's an exciting time to be alive and witness the development of this technology. Check out this awesome real-time AI interpreting vocal and visual instructions into augmented reality clothes. Can I get a raccoon here in space as a painting? in a Hawaiian shirt with sunglasses, eating a pizza. Uh, no, here. Perfect. In another awesome AR demo, someone used AI to bring a digital character to life as an AI filter. Not to be outdone, here's an application of stable diffusion, typically used to generate 2D images, now being used to generate a 360 degree field of view VR environment. It's clear that AI is going to completely transform film creation and post-production, but one of the coolest features has to be instant interpolation. This is essentially taking a 2D image and bringing it to life as a video in one click. Google has demoed a similar technology creating a video flyby automatically just from a 2D picture. Companies like Meta AI and Runway ML even create entire videos automatically just from text descriptions. This is the video you get when you type in a blue unicorn flying over a mystical land, and a dog wearing a superhuman outfit with a red cape flying through the sky, and a robot dancing in Times Square. Google launched their own video generative AI model that can create videos from prompts. For example, turning this video of a field into a burning hellscape, or taking this video of a deer and having it ride a skateboard, or taking pictures of a teddy bear and creating a video of it walking. On that note, there's already even purely AI-generated TV shows. Let me start by telling you a joke. Like this one written as a Seinfeld sitcom, running endlessly 24-7. It's really weird right now, but maybe it's a glimpse into the future explosion of infinite content unlocked by AI. Moving on to text now. ChatGPT has been all over the internet. Probably the canonical demo has been how it pens a college essay with just a simple question prompt. ChatGPT has also become a powerful tool for kids to cheat on homework and will almost certainly kill the take-home exam in schools. Beyond that, it could allow people to misrepresent themselves online. Here's an example of someone using ChatGPT to flirt with a girl in an online dating app.
But ChatGPT also raises some other serious ethical questions, especially because ChatGPT is a probabilistic model, meaning none of what it says has to be factually correct. There's tons of examples of false facts asserted by ChatGPT, who sounds sort of like a confident BSer. And the question is, with this tool out there, will it be an agent of massive misinformation online in an era where our trust in the media is already at an all-time low? On the other hand, ChatGPT can compress the cost of expensive services like tutoring or counseling that most people can't afford to almost zero and make it universally accessible. One person asked ChatGPT, I'm just feeling sad and don't know what to do. In another example, a person asked ChatGPT to create a fitness plan for him. Given his weight and age, AI figured out what calorie deficit he'd need to hit to lose 15 pounds in three months, then constructed sample meal plans, recipes for cooking them, and even shopping lists for the ingredients. Moving on to audio now, check out this incredible API that can convert text description, like astronaut riding a horse, into music. <laughs> Audio LDM also has an incredible model for text to sound effects. But generative AI is more than just fun technologies for consumers. It could also change the way that we work. For you Excel and PowerPoint junkies out there, AI is even translating text into Excel formulas or entire PowerPoint presentations. As a bonus, it's still astounding to see the progress of AI deepfakes. You see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. These videos have actually been generated by AI that replaces faces and speech. I'm gonna show you some magic. The most sophisticated deepfake videos, like these of Tom Cruise, even fool deepfake detection software by training an algorithm on over 13,000 images of Tom Cruise from every angle. Today, anyone with an iPhone and a photo can use free apps to create simple deepfakes. And in the coming years, it'll be more possible for anyone to create realistic deepfakes that assume other people's identities. If I walk into this kitchen <laughs> and I see a cantaloupe <laughs> on that table, I will lose my mind. <laughs> Deepfake audio has come a long ways as well. Calamity AI used OpenAI's GPT-3 to produce a new Eminem diss song, Sticking Up For Women. So for you women, whether you're at home with a baby or working a job, I'm with you, I see what's happening. For all of my sisters out there that I've heard and confused, it's just not right. Something that I made as a joke, and it works so good, I could not believe it. I discovered those websites that are about uh, AI. Basically, you can write lyrics in the style of any artist you like. So I typed, write a verse in the style of Eminem about future rave. And I went to another AI website that can recreate the, vo the voice. I put the text in that and I played the record and people went nuts. This is the future rave sound. I'm getting lost in an underground. Eminem, bro. AI even generated a deep fake podcast of Joe Rogan interviewing the late Steve Jobs. I've been a fan of yours and Macintosh since the 1980s. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, we just kind of figured that out. Even though Apple was big, it's still like half a percent of the total users. Voice cloning is also getting spooky good. Check out this demo from Eleven Labs. For you, not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. Do Not Pay even used a deep fake voice and combined it with a ChatGPT bot to phone Wells Fargo and overturn some wire fees. Some of these examples are so incredible because they mimic such complex human behavior. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. 
In that vein, some of the most iconic examples of AI are machines that can beat humans at chess. Knight here then f5, so, I played bishop d3, creating space. Poker? Go? And even play open-ended games like Minecraft. Did you just see how fast that thing crafted? If only I could craft that fast, I would be a god gamer. In one case, a researcher even trained a system to compete against humans in a complex negotiation game like Risk, which requires natural language negotiation, cooperation, and even bluffing other people. Welcome to the war room. This is probably the most interesting example of AI to me. A bot that successfully represents itself as a human to other people, and gets them to do what it wants to win a game, within a context where people are expecting to be tricked. This is kind of eerie, but also so much more revolutionary, in my opinion, in actually reproducing human-like reason versus just copying pictures or words on the internet. And just around the corner, it'll be amazing to see AI enable us to translate voice or text prompts into complex tasks completed by robots, or tackle the real-life fountain of youth through CRISPR and AI-powered gene editing. Let me know in the comments where you think AI is going to have the biggest potential impact. Do you think it's going to disrupt content creation here on YouTube? Creators will, in my opinion, have to become increasingly well-versed in tech to stay competitive. And Mr. Beast is leading the way. Check out this video to see how he's becoming the next big entrepreneur like Elon. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.